am a summation of my past and future selves. Refractions and reflections of light and time make up my image. My eyes of a timid girl in preschool whose teacher isn't sure if she knows English or not. Nonetheless, my lips are of the best speller in my third grade class. C-H-I-H-U-A-H-U-A, Chihuahua. Over the years, a masterpiece of anxiousness is painted across my hands. Blisters and calluses cover my palms. These are of a girl circling the playground over and over again, so as not to be seen still and alone. Dark browns and reds line my fingernails, chewed and broken. Yet, these hands still radiate heat. These are still, one day, the hands of a warm best friend. Baby teeth fall from soft gums and later adult ones replace them. Filled cavities make me all parts new and yet I cherish the old, as we all do. We protect our baby teeth in plastic treasure chests. We make it a point to remember. These pasts make up pieces of me, though over the course of seven to 10 years, every cell in the human body is at some point replaced, regenerated. And at the budding age of 18, I am so new. But Theseus' paradox asks us, if you replace every plank of wood in a ship, every thread in its sail. Is this ship a different one entirely? Or is it simply changed and new and the same? My brother replies, it must be fundamentally the same. For it is us who make a ship a ship. It is humans who shape the wood and give it purpose. And it is purpose that decides who we are. But I am characteristically doubtful and unsure. At this crossroads in my life, I exist in a kind of waiting place. It is a purgatory that stretches through years of uncertainty. Time tugs on skin as bodies, not beings, wait for some kinder judge. In bodies built by struggle, we lift regret above our heads with only blood running through our veins, without redemption, without purpose. We become suspended in this place. Despite our willing the clock to spin ahead faster, for life to go on without the burden of hoping and being disappointed. And then we wonder how we turned into this. How we became brutes under the guise of progress and suicidal in the wake of the inevitable inferiority. We cherish the old, and we relish in the instant gratification of the present, but to speak of the future, to let dreams dictate actions and possibilities hold us up, we are condemned. Let us not believe that our past or our presence can justify a false belief that we can predict the future. Let us not believe that because we are not good enough yet, we will never get better. We are made of not only our successes and our failures, but of our intentions and our purposes. We are made up of every alternate self and every alternate reality. Let us not believe that the possibilities of our futures are limited. We are of the universe. We are of the time itself. We are endless.